The remains of Pompeii have a habit of making researchers feel gloomy, and this latest discovery has added to that feeling. Archaeologists in Pompeii managed to get into a local chamber and make a startling discovery once they were there. The thing that they found was coated with a layer of ash that was created by the volcanic eruption of Mount Vesuvius. You would think of some artifacts or other items, but what they found was covered with ash. The quiet ruins of Pompeii have been given a more lively appearance due to the finding. Archaeologists excavating the ancient Villa Savita Giuliana, located outside of Pompeii, found a ceremonial carriage and the skeletal remains of horses beside the stable. In addition, a wooden chest was discovered over the bed of one of the people who had been enslaved. The container was covered with cloth and metal objects, which may have been components of the horse harness. Three beds measured 1.7 meters in length, with the shortest bed measuring 1.4 meters and being reserved for a youngster. This mysterious nook can be found in the Savita Giuliana. Franceschini figures out that an enslaved family has been living in that off-limits chamber, tripling the amount of storage space with an almost 8-meter Ferrari discovered in the room's corners. An archaeologist made this discovery in 2018 when they found the ancient remains of horses using a similar technique that allowed them to recreate the final pieces of dozens of Pompeii victims. This discovery was made possible by the technique that allowed them to reconstruct the bodies of Pompeii victims. The voids in the skeletons are filled in by injecting liquid plaster into the openings in the bones. Left in the past, when bodies were imprisoned in the volcanic explosion, researchers could cast the bones to be of horses based on how the skeletons would have laid from the remains of the horses. They thought the horses were adults and estimated their height to be approximately 150 centimeters. A fragment of the harness that contained the priceless bronze and iron was discovered. The head of the animal gives the impression that it was deliberately bred to serve as a valuable parade horse. On the other hand, skeletons of mules and donkeys that had been abandoned in the crater have been discovered there. New excavations were begun at the site by the archaeologists so that they could put an end to the trespassing and protect the remaining valuables with the horse. They also unearthed several things, such as tools, kitchen utensils, and jugs, as well as the grave of a man buried after the disastrous eruption, indicating that people used to live among the ruins long after the calamity occurred. Gabriel Zuchu Prison, the director general of Pompeii's archaeological park, stated that this is the window to the uncertain reality of people who don't appear. In addition to this, it assists them in locating sections of the ancient world about which the scholars would have some knowledge, which is a crucial step. The following provides a look into the lives of people who were held captive and forced to work in ancient Pompeii. The researchers were taken aback when they discovered that the remains of so many people had been crammed into such a small area of 172 meters squared. The Nature Room, located between a storage room and a dormitory, is the most notable aspect of Zutri Jail. This room is said to be both dangerous and claustrophobic. Even though there was no evidence of any adornment, the only probable source of sunshine could have been coming in via the little window so high up on the wall. Although it is common knowledge among historians that slavery dates back to when the Roman Empire was founded, little is known about the treatment of enslaved people by their masters. The famous historical chronicles are the property of affluent or influential people. This discovery provides a unique glimpse into what life must have been like for enslaved individuals and sheds light on the experiences of lower-class people like slaves, who ran the risk of becoming invisible in historical chronicles. In addition, the experts anticipate that further excavation and examination of the slave room will assist them in gaining a deeper understanding of slavery in the Roman Empire. Zutri Jail went on to say that it is one of the most exciting discoveries he has made in his career as an archaeologist, and that the real treasure is finding the highly vulnerable members of the ancient society, to whom the room is a unique testimony. Zutri Jail also said that the room was a unique testimony to the ancient society. The archaeologist was taken aback when they found horses still equipped with harnesses and saddles. However, 
Two years after the discovery of the horses, researchers also unearthed the two world-preserved bones of two Vesuvius victims in Pompeii during the eruption. Both people were located in the same cemetery as the horses. During the eruption, a wealthy man between 30 to 40 years of age and a young enslaved man survived the volcano's direct impact but were killed in a second volcanic blast on the same day. The team discovered the skeletal remains in the demolished building's underground corridor, buried beneath a depth of three meters of ash. According to one of his companions, the second person was dressed in a short tunic made of wool with wrinkles. According to Massimo Osana, the director general of Pompeii's archaeological park, the victims most likely sought refuge in the cryptoporticos underground, where they felt they were covered from the explosion. He claimed that this was the most likely scenario. Instead, both perished within the rusk due to the intense heat and the volcanic material that surged into the structure. The tightness in their hands and feet suggests that they suffered from thermoshock, which led to their death. An Italian archaeologist named Giuseppe Fiorelli invented a technique in 1863 that allowed the discovery of new remains to be preserved. Giuseppe Fiorelli later modified this technique. The plaster will fill the spaces left by decaying remains, conserving teeth and bones. The preservation procedure entails pouring liquid chalk into the voids left by the decomposition of bodies. Pompeii is the archaeological site that has been constantly excavated for the largest amount of time due to the length of time that it has been around. This is because Pompeii has been around for such a long time. Archaeologists discovered every stage in the development of the scientific discipline of archaeology, and all of these stages were tested in Pompeii with varying degrees of success. The majority of the research is concentrated on public buildings and exquisite villas. The discovery of poor neighborhoods and slave chambers give light on the lives of ancient Pompeians. Archaeologists hope that future discoveries may unearth previously unknown pieces of history. The discovery of this forbidden chamber surprised the researchers, inspiring them to have optimism about discovering other Pompeii treasures that would define ancient Pompeian life. You are encouraged to provide your feedback on this matter in the below section, and you should also make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.